As a multiple sclerosis patient myself, I was intrigued by some of the stories of people with cold extremities and how they experienced improvement after being treated for chronic cerebrospinal venous insufficiency, or CCSVI, as it has become known in the MS community. I was recently listening to a CCSVI information broadcast from the MS Society of Canada, and a well-known Canadian neurologist suggested that this coldness in the extremities, known as Raynaud's phenomenon, was simply an annoyance. I remember being simply horrified at the bluish purple feet of some of my friends with multiple sclerosis. I questioned a few of them and asked if this was a simple annoyance or whether it affected their quality of life and was an ongoing problem. Here are some of the things that I discovered. First of all, this is what the MS expert had to say about Raynaud's in relation to MS patients. The, the question of, of coldness in the hands and feet that occurs in MS patients, uh, it's, it's referred to as Raynaud's phenomenon. In MS, it, it's actually increased, and part of it is related to the um, less use of muscles. People often get very concerned about it, but it's actually just an annoyance. I suspect that the, the phenomenon that some of the people have reported after having the veins done and Raynaud's phenomenon I'm not sure whether it's related or not, but Raynaud's is extremely common. This is part of what I have discovered about Raynaud's phenomenon. Sometime during the late 1850s, a young French girl of 27 years noticed that the fingers of both hands had suddenly become pale and cold. Over the next few weeks, the tips of some of her fingers shriveled up and turned black, causing her great pain and discomfort. The young patient did have a curious history of her fingers turning odd colors whenever she was cold or under stress. Dr. Raynaud decided that the color changes must have been due to some sort of intermittent blockage of the blood supply. When the condition is severe enough, gangrene develops, but in its mild form, the affected areas intermittently turn white or blue and finally red when the blood eventually returns. In essence, the fingers and anywhere else affected were being strangled or asphyxiated due to lack of blood. These are some of the questions that I had about Raynaud's phenomenon after listening to the expert opinion of the neurologist from the MS Society of Canada. Number one, is Raynaud's phenomenon a simple annoyance? Two, is it short-lived? 3. How can something that lasts for years be a simple annoyance? 4. How is it that people with MS who have suffered from this phenomenon for years and years find relief after a simple procedure that corrects blood flow? The following excerpts come from MS patients after being treated with venous angioplasty and document their testimonials as to the immediate effects of restored blood flow to the extremities. I no longer have icy cold hands, tingling in my feet, tingling in my scalp is all gone. But people have noticed that my hands and feet seem a lot different, but I have a lot more color and more color in my face. face. Have you noticed any changes after the, after the surgery? I, when I see what the swelling, my purple feet disappeared almost immediately. My hands and my feet are warm now. And they haven't been for years. Later on that night, my hands felt warm, my feet felt warm. This is fantastic. The other thing that is very noticeable is my, my hands are warm. Uh, my feet are warm. Yet when I listen to the following excerpt, the expert neurologist's answer to the question of whether or not there is a connection leaves me quite perplexed, as I am intrigued by the numerous stories of improvement by MS patients themselves. Is there a connection between cold hands, going back to the second part of your question, cold hands and cold feet and blocked veins? Do we know that? No. Though I have never personally experienced Raynaud's phenomenon for more than a few minutes at a time, I truly empathize with those MS patients who have suffered from this real condition for many years, and I share in their joy of newfound blood flow and warm hands and feet.